Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 17th of 2023 well, it is titled PDS 70 disk planets and moons. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken by the Alma array, which is a set of radio telescopes down in Chile, and that can observe at various uh, short wavelengths of millimeters or so. Now what we're looking at here is a star that has formed recently and is in the process of forming planets. So the star at the center would be the blob there at the center and then around it there is a ring of material and that ring of material would be where we would be expecting planets to currently form. Now, decades ago, there's some th look seeing some kinds of disks around uh, stars that were forming was our very early evidence that planets existed outside our solar system. It hasn't been until just the last couple of decades that we've actually been able to detect th now thousands of planets that exist outside of our solar system. But just seeing this dusty disk of material uh, is not what's very important here. You see the bright dot down there a little bit to the right of the center just inside that ring, which is a planet that is forming. And based on measurements, this would be a planet about the size of Jupiter. So something very similar to Jupiter forming here around this star. And even that the very most interesting thing here and the new thing here because we've seen things like this before is that if you notice around that planet that it seems a little hazy there's a lot of things going around uh, around that so we expect that that is showing signs of formation of moons around this planet. So we're getting to the point of being able to see enough detail here to not only see the star that is forming and the dusty disk of material, but to actually image the forming planet itself and potentially seeing where moons might be forming around that planet. So it's quite possible that as this continues over the next couple of million years or so that eventually you will have here a Jupiter sized planet with several moons similar to those around Jupiter in size which means about the size of our own moon. So we're beginning to see that process, not just the process of planetary formation, but also the, uh, the process of forming moons around these planets. And as we see this more and more, we're really seeing how common planets are out in the universe. Again, something we suspected but didn't really know for sure 40 or 50 years ago. And we're beginning to see now that moons seem to be a natural part of that formation process. And the more times we're able to see these, the more it seems that it's very natural that stars form planets and planets form moons around them. So that was our picture of the day for October 17th of 2023. It was titled PDS 70 Disc Planets and Moons. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Veiled Supernova. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.